Yeah, I thought tonight was a very interesting game, to be honest. It was, uh, you know, I think it took a little bit of time um, to see what both teams were doing. And, you know, I thought we, we played quite well early on in the game. Obviously got a fantastic start, right? So we score in the first five minutes and everyone just takes a big sigh of relief, I think. Um, but, you know, that, that puts you on the front foot. And that's where we wanted to be. That's what we spoke about before the game, trying to start the game on the front foot. Managed to get a good early goal. Um, and then, obviously, conceded one. But, the, you know, you see the players respond and the reaction after conceding the goal was fantastic again. And then put us in a positive position in the game. And then I felt second half we would go on and, you know, and maybe we've even got another one in certain moments. But then, you know, the, the last part of the game, it was pretty, pretty windy and the ball was coming in and they got some big bodies and they're committing bodies forward. And, um, you know, we didn't necessarily... You know, that doesn't necessarily trouble us. That's something we take some pride on and uh, manage to see see out the game and win win uh, three one and get three points, which is uh, what what the mission was. No, nah, nothing. No, nah, nothing at all. Um, basically, every game we do, we settle the same way. We have a plan to defend. We have a plan to attack, and um, you want to be executing both moments. Um, and, and, and tonight, the guys uh, stuck to the plan. You know, got 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 the early goal. As I say, and that that kind of uh, you know it, it, it eases everybody's tensions, I guess. And um, you know, went on, and I uh, thought they had thoroughly good performance. There was a couple more defensive breakdowns, so we'll address those with the team and uh, just make uh, make everybody better and hopefully keep improving this team because I don't think we've actually uh, you know we, we work with good application every day the attitudes are fantastic but I still think we've uh, got a, a, some improving to do and I think that group of players they're committed to doing it and that's what they want to do so if we can keep improving I think uh, we can have better performances week on week week out. Coach you mentioned the uh, offense you got you guys are dancing on the sidelines a little bit after uh, Devin Vega's goal but um, just talk about Chris Tierpak overall. So 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 uh, <laughs> Let's just address the first statement you made. Um, and look, it's very hard to score a goal in soccer, and it's hard to win games at this level. Um, so when they go in, you know, you want to try and enjoy them. It's, uh, it's a long week, you know. So when we score a goal like that, it's, it's nice. And I'm pleased for Devon too. You know, the, 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 he's a young lad that's, uh, you know, trying to trying to gain experience and get better. Um, for his future career, and uh, I was really pleased for Devon tonight because um, he had a little bit of a setback last week with a, a, a slight injury. So it's good that he's bounced back and, and showed a good attitude to do so. Tierpak, um, you know, Chris, Chris has been been hungry every game, and he's been a little bit unfortunate, I think, during the course of the season. You know, chance here may have hit a bobble there, or it just hasn't quite gone. But tonight, you know, he's been a professional throughout that whole, you know, whole whole piece, and um, he deserves his two goals tonight. And I'm really pleased for Chris. Any concerns seeing Diego go down multiple times tonight? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, 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 it's uh, that ball's bouncing around the box. It's a concern. So, you know, with, with that happening, and uh, I think Ben went to clear it and hit him straight in the face. I mean, obviously, I'm seeing that, but that's what it looked like. Um, so, I think it just knocked knocked him around a little bit. But um, you know, he, he got he got himself dusted off and uh, <laughs> ready to go again. So, you know, Diego's a pro, and you know, I think he's a guy that. Uh, Understands the game of soccer and is also improving week on week in week out. Yeah, but it, we're just obviously we're just getting ready for next week. To be honest, you know, this this league is a, is a long season, 32 games. So it's nice to to to, to get to 10 wins. Um, but you know, we know there's, there's we still got more games left than we've actually played. So it's just a matter of focusing and getting ready for a very tough road trip against a very talented Colorado team um, that are, you know are, are towards the top of the league and, and heading to their place next week. So that'll be our focus, and at the end we'll reflect at the end of the season and, and uh, look at how we how we did compared to last season and, and the seasons before. You want to talk a little bit about um, Cyprian Hendrick hundredth game in USL today? What's it like having a guy with that kind of USL experience? Yeah, I mean, look. Sip, Sip got unfortunate in the, in the start of the season with, with a little injury. I'm sure he would have liked that hundredth appearance a little sooner, but he, uh, you know, he's a pro. And what you get with Sip is good leadership, um, somebody that cares, committed, um, and, and, and wants to do well every day. He listens to instructions and he goes and gives his best. And as a coach, that's all I can ask from any player: is go out there, give your best effort on a daily basis and uh, we're all very proud of you. The, you know, the fans can be very proud and, and the city can too, you know, and 
I think you know talking to the fans, you know seeing the military there. I mean, you know we're honoured to have them there, and when they come out in force like that, it's uh, you know it makes us all very proud and it makes it special. And you know I can't talk enough about our, our fans that come on a regular basis. You know how they get behind the team, and, and you know you, you made fun of me cheering, but there was a, there was quite a few others that joined me in that in that uh, moment when Devon scored. So you know we're very proud to to represent the city, and, and we continue to work hard and do our best on a daily basis.